see what we have today <laughs> eggplants guys um i don't know if there's any other word in english but i think the only name that i know is eggplants of course in my language is belinyanya sounds weird i know <laughs> but it's not hard Beli nyanya and by the nyanya is like tomatoes so if you know tomatoes you also know this one simple as that guys how you all doing welcome back to the channel i'm Eunice, of course <laughs> you already know and this is actually pride but i know there could be a first time watching this video please if it's your first time chancing on a video on my channel thank you very much for clicking and you're so much very welcome of course please make it a point to subscribe right after this video guys huh how about that <laughs> so here i basically do village life show you how we do it in my village the different things that we do in my village that you probably don't have is what i always show you here yeah, so you have arrived <laughs> you have arrived so guys these are eggplants like i told you and now for us it's it's just a thing in us if it's dry season like it is actually towards dry season like it's the beginning of dry season right now so if it's heading towards dry season like this what always happens is it does not rain so certain things like these vegetables here cannot be grown so what always happens is to avoid um hunger or whatever i don't know is it drought or whatever that effect of dryness that you cannot plant what we always do is we we preserve whatever we have for that for that dry season like such a thing cannot grow well in the dry season here so we preserve them and store them in the house and just pick when it's dry season and you know you have food in the house pick anytime and eat so what i'm going to do right now is actually to preserve this if you have been noticing uh lately i'm doing a lot of preservations yes i did sweet potatoes at some point i did boil there is some there is that vegetable i think you've noticed i do a lot of preservations here and that is because it's that season of the year where we do it in my land here so this is one of the things that we actually preserve yes <laughs> Uh, I actually cooked this, I remember, I cooked the preserved one, the dried one. I cooked it sometime back, I mixed it with, it's either smoked fish or or silver fish, what some of you call, what is, it? What is that name again? What is that name again? I'm forgetting, I'm forgetting, I'm forgetting. Okay, I think it just slipped off my mind, but there is another name for that silver fish. There is this small, small, tiny fish here. I also cooked eat with it sometimes so that is how it is cooked you can also cook it plain but plain is not as tasty as it can be when you mix it with like fish or you know so it's a delicacy mean well pasted of course i'm going to say this and i know you <laughs> you're waiting to hear it peanut butter <laughs> we mix it in, in peanut butter guys and we press it and then we can serve it with um posho bread made out of corn or maize or even millet bread cassava personally i love it best with uh, sweet potatoes so you can see so i've actually preserved my sweet potatoes already it's still drying on that roof if you didn't watch that video get back to that video and watch how i preserved it it's actually on that roof that you're seeing that it's drying there so you could also check after watching this one you check how we preserve the sweet potatoes as well so as for this one here first of all we cut them they cannot be preserved like this they will go bad of course so we slice them into pieces as you can see i'm doing but meanwhile um as as i do this how about you let me know if you guys have eggplants or if you guys also preserve it i mean do you preserve it the way we do or do you preserve it in another way you put it in water you you cook it then preserve i mean excuse me please let me know how you guys preserve it because for us we preserve it when it's not cooked i think you can notice i have come to to to, to know that there are some people who preserve certain things by first cooking it then they preserve it i don't know then they put it in the refrigerator then they do i don't know i mean let me know how you guys do it how do you do your preservations as for us, I don't think there's anything that is preserved when it's cooked. No. Most of our things are preserved when it's raw. Yeah. And most of our preservations are done 
like just naturally we don't put anything in the refrigerator to preserve it or like the way most of you do it so how about you let me know if you guys preserve these eggplants or if you even eat it <laughs> maybe you've even never eaten it and i'm here asking you a lot of questions hmm? first of all let me know if you have ever seen eggplants i think i should have started from there hmm? <laughs> uh, So here we are guys You see they, they look much right now But when they're actually dry They become so like Really really they shrink eh? And become so tiny So after slicing them like this you put them into pieces again, tiny pieces. So when they're small, like when they're into tiny pieces like this, they dry really well. And this is also going to keep drying outside even for like a week or two or a month or whatever, no harm in it. Hmm? The end target is to make sure that it's totally dry in that it will not rot when you when you finally pack it in the house and like i told you there's no more rain so i'll leave this on the roof up there so it will stay there i mean nobody sees such a thing in my village because it's like a common thing almost everyone has it so it stays on the roof for as long as it can and then i finally remove it and pack it in the house when it's very dry and can be eaten even after two two months two i don't know it, it like it does not get spoiled for as long as it's properly dried so <laughs> have you learned something anyway hmm? let me know if is it a new kind of a thing to you or is it something you've ever seen before please let me know in the comment section otherwise that is how we do it guys that is how we preserve that is how we prepare for the dryness that is that is a must like every year it is a must eh? it hits us really bad and actually if you notice i think let me give it like two weeks but you're going to notice that the grasses are already turning like most of them are already wilting and actually switching colors from green to brown it's changing you're going to notice that properly maybe in a in like two weeks or something for now it might be hard for you to notice but for me i already know it's there so I can see it coming. Yeah? <laughs> so how about you leave me to do this now? Hmm? <laughs> Bye.